So I got to thinking, Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford again. Yeah, you know we ain't gonna let up. We not gonna let up. So, Terrence Crawford beating Spence. How can he do it? Well, simple. You know, Spence is gonna be the aggressor probably most of that fight. And I think what's gonna happen is uh, Bud is gonna analyze everything Spence is doing. Spence, he gonna let Spence become sloppy, throw some sloppy punches. He gonna he cause he he does throw some. He has a good connect ratio, but Spence can get sloppy sometimes with his punches. I seen him do it with old guys. I seen him do it with Sean Porter. I seen him do it with a few of his fights. So Terrence Crawford is gonna. It's gonna be one of them ways. He's gonna lull everyone to sleep. Like, all right, man, he keeps slipping. He, he's he's overextending right here. And he's doing it again. He, he, okay, he's overextending this round, overextending this round. He's overextending this round. And he's gonna keep on overextending and just try to, like, pretty much get out the way. He's not gonna even react to Errol Spence when he overextends. And then it's gonna be that one round. He gonna let Errol overextend, and that's when he gonna crack him. That's, that's what's gonna end up happening. He gonna crack him. And either Errol is going to learn from that mistake or he's going to keep doing the same thing over and over again because Errol can't really adjust all that well. And that is going to be the downfall of Errol Spence Jr. come July 29th. Prove me wrong.